The FAA will release a new report this week. It finds commercial airline pilots need more training and rely too much on automation. Pilot error is suspected in three high-profile crashes in the last several years. The Air France disaster in 2009, the Asiana crash landing at San Francisco Airport in July, and an accident in Russia just this week where 50 people died when the jet lost speed and plunged to the ground in a nosedive. Captain Sully Sullenberger is a CBS news and safety aviation and safety expert he is in san francisco this morning good morning captain good morning nori it, 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 it was your efforts as a skillful pilot that saved many lives on the hudson what concerns you now about this that because of all the automated features in a plane pilots are losing their skill this is a growing concern worldwide in fact just last week i had a meeting with transportation secretary anthony fox the first question he asked me was about automation. This report is a wake-up call for the industry. It's an indictment of the inadequacies of pilot training in many areas. Pilots are not getting enough training. Right now, the airlines provide only the FAA mandated amount. It's not enough. The pilots are also not getting enough in-depth training about the increasingly complex technology and automation in our cockpits. Instead, they get a more fundamental understanding, and then on their own, through on-the-job training, they have to pick up the more in-depth knowledge over a period of time. So you're, It's you're, also important to notice that, that they don't get enough manual fly, flying practice on the airplane. So your recommendation simply is more training and not in total dependence on autopilot technology? That's important because this report notes that the pilots not only have to have the skill, but the confidence in realistic skills to be able to quickly and effectively intervene when automation goes wrong. Now, one of the things I talked to Secretary Fox about was the slow pace of FAA rulemaking and how technology has outpaced our ability to regulate it. We saw that with the Boeing 787 lithium batteries where the technology got ahead of the certification design standards. We had to play catch up. In recognizing this slow pace of FAA rulemaking, the FAA has often turned to voluntary efforts, asking the industry to voluntarily adopt new standards instead of mandating them through the, the lengthy regulatory process. That has limitations. A good example of that is when the pilot fatigue rules were uh, mandated for the passenger airlines, they weren't for the cargo airlines for economic reasons, but none of them volunteered to comply. With this focus now, too, on pilot fatigue, the FAA, I understand, is rolling out a new policy where they're going to be testing overweight pilots. Why is that important? It's important because there is apparently a connection between a certain neck size and a certain body max index and certain uh, sleep issues. And of course, sleep issues are very important for pilots and air traffic controllers. Undiagnosed, untreated, they can lead to a decrease in performance and alertness. Thank right. you. Thanks so much, Sully.